budgets, bikes, and district lines all discussed at the KC City Council meeting tonight. In the second reading of their budget, city leaders are telling us there won't be any increases to taxes, millage rates, or sanitation fees. Here's Nate Stanley. Despite a downpour outside, a small crowd filled the City of KC Municipal Building on Wednesday. On the docket, a change to the city's district lines. A presentation was given by Adam DeMars with the South Carolina Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Office. He says based on 2020 census data, the city saw a 10% increase in population. As you can see on this map, the proposed changes would increase the areas for District 1, 2, and 3, and also decrease the area for District 4. KC City Manager Tracy Hegler says it's a good sign, especially with an expanding population. Um, so you want to make sure that you have basically equal representation in every district. That they call it the one vote, one person. Um, and, and often what happens is in 10 years, people move around. One district may grow, another may lose population. So we go through this process, everybody does, of making sure those boundaries work so that it's pretty equal. Residents I spoke to are skeptical but hopeful for the changes, including Byron Gray, who lives in District 2 currently, but has proposed to switch to District 3. If we get, uh, if we get a little better representation or, and not feel like we're forgotten over here in this area, uh, if, this, if that'll affect it, I'm all for it. Also on the agenda for Wednesday's meeting was the second reading of the city's budget for next year. City Manager Hagler says it passed second reading without any increases to taxes or millage rates. She adds in the original budget there was a $2 per month increase to a sanitation tax, but after a request from council, that's been avoided. And that we go after grants to supplement that. And so we have a very good track record of finding non-tax and non-fee related ways to provide the services that we provide. The agenda passed second reading and the new district lines passed their first reading. Reporting in KC, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. And KC's next meeting is set for July the 10th.